Hey there everyone, hope you're doing well. Today is the day that I truly switched over to Linux. Customized it to fit my aesthetic and made the installation truly mine. So let me guide you in my experience to switching over to Linux from Windows and how it went for me. Now you may think that Linux is the place where boys turn into men. Minimal support, an overall very scary layout for people who used Windows. But is this still the case today? I would say not. In fact, the addition of the Steam Deck into the market has actually made developers focus on the Linux operating system more. This gave Linux a huge boost. There are virtually more and more applications added each day that you can use and modify to your own likeness. But was this switch worth it? I mean, I'm a video developer. Surely I've experienced some fallbacks. You know what? Not at all. Switching over to Linux has proved to be more stable. Linux is a very secure operating system. The risk of malware was little to none at all. I went ahead and installed Linux 22.2 Zara. Zara. Zora. Zara. <laughs> Whatever. All you have to know is that it's the Cinnamon version. It's great for user friendliness. And I was able to install DaVinci Resolve with minimal problems and even managed to make this video here. And for all you folks that want to switch over to Windows 11, look at this support here. Woo! Yeah, baby! Using this video here, I was able to make Linux from this into this. The catch? Nothing. Now I'm blow and ad free on my own computer. And here's the little side note for you folks that commented on my last video to switch over to Windows 10 or Windows 11 extended support. I heard you, but to be honest, considering the fact that the operating system will be more bloated, my computer is not supported, and that I don't need Windows whatsoever if I'm just going to be recording and editing videos, I decided to stick with Linux. And with Windows being a constant headache and you having to switch over, Windows 11 will also once become a obsolete version as Windows 7 and Windows 10 have now become. Uh, why am I saying it as if Windows 10 ended support like three years ago? Okay, what are the advantages of Linux? Well, for starters, no matter the hardware, it will always be supported. No matter if you have a computer from the dinosaur age all the way to a modern computer, it will always be supported. And this is for my Windows folk out there. Start with a virtual machine environment. Try customizing it, try following tips and guides and whatever, and slowly transition out of Windows. The point is, don't let influencers and other blogs shape your opinion on Linux. Give it a shot. Maybe Linux will become your go-to operating system as well. Final thoughts? Props to this person here for suggesting for me to switch over to Linux. Also, a big thank you to my supporters. We are on the way to battle 200 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and uh, catch you guys in the next one.